This card is limited and for a very good reason. Dino Wrestler Pankratops is quite an incredible card. It's like a Cyber Dragon-esque effect in its special summoning effect from the hand, but also on top of that, it's a quick effect that allows you to tribute one Dino Wrestler monster, including itself on the field, to destroy one card your opponent controls during either player's turn. And because of its 2600 attack stat, you can jump over one negate like Herald of Arclight, and then use the effect of Dino Wrestler Pankratops tribute itself, and then destroy or bait the negate of another card, which basically meant that you traded one for two, which is very good. And it's also the kind of card that has the tendency to be good against literally all kind of decks. I mean, this card can be used against control decks, combo decks, mid-range decks, and it is also very, very good to main deck in going second decks, but could also make sense in going first decks depending on the format. The flexibility aspect of Dino Wrestler Pankratops is ridiculous because, like I said, you don't really have to just go after monsters. You can go after spells and chaps as well, so it really isn't like Zooking Alpha or Alpha the Master Beast in this instance. It's a little better than that as, it's, as in it's more flexible, but at the same time, Alpha also has its own applications, so they can't really be compared, but if you want to play it safe in any given format, I want to say Pankratops always has a higher chance of being very good. And being able to destroy spells and traps is ridiculously good because that means that Pankratops can literally be your ticket out of so many annoying situations like there can only be one, or goes in match rivalry, etc, or even skill drain because it tributes itself as a cost, so even if you don't want to play back removal like Cosmic Cyclone, Pankratops might be enough for you. Now this is cool and all, but let's not forget the one drawback of Dino Wrestler Pankratops, which honestly isn't the end of the world, but it's a fact that it's an unsearchable one-of. It's an unsearchable one-of for most decks, though. Not all decks, because in Dinosaur, for example, you can search it with Overaptor, or summon it with Petit Pteranodon on the end phase when it's summoned by Miscellaneousaurus, or when it's destroyed by Ultimate Conductor, or even just summon it off of Double Evolution Pale, so a lot of options, and that's the reason why Dinosaur have always been main decking one copy of Dino Wrestler Pankratops, whereas the other decks have especially been citing it, and that's the reason why it became a limited card because it was in absolutely everybody's side deck literally with no exception. I mean I guess if you play Pot of Duality you don't really want to side Pankratops but that's besides the point. So mathematically speaking you have a 15% chance to see Dino Wrestler Pankratops in your opening 6 going 2nd with a 40 card deck. That means that you should see it 1 game out of 7 roughly which essentially translates that if you only play this in the side deck you will probably see Pankratops in your opening hand once or twice per event depending on the amount of game 2 and 3 that you play and the amount of rounds that you play. However, let's not forget the fact that Pankratops is a ridiculously good card to draw late game in the grind game etc. It's the kind of card that when you sack it, it basically means that you immediately win because again, very high attack stat, it applies so much pressure on your opponent and if your opponent some uses something like Imperm on your Pankratops, you can either let it resolve no problem or just use the effect to chain and then destroy another card. So the amount of cards you make your opponent waste with a single card is so incredibly good that I want to say you pretty much have like no argument not to play the card depending of course on the situation. And remember that it's still a very valid option when you don't have access to your extra deck because of something like Artifact Scythe, you usually wouldn't be able to do anything oppressive to your opponent, but thanks to Pankratops, not only can you jump over opponent's monsters, you can have an interruption for next turn, and I want to say that's the main beauty of Pankratops, the fact that it's either a card that allows you to break your opponent's board, break your opponent's board, and interrupt your opponent on your opponent's follow-up turn. Honestly, Pankratops is that kind of card where I couldn't really think of like anything negative to talk about it because it really is just that good. Worst case scenario, you don't see it, you don't cry about it, it only takes one slot in your side deck, so who cares? And if you do see it, you're probably winning the game. And if we follow the OCG mentality, they actually would rather have a lot of one ofs and two ofs in the side deck rather than to have like five three ofs, for example, because they want to have a lot of different options. So even with Pankratops being a three, uh, some people might actually only want to play two the card is ridiculously good please play it so that's basically all i had to say for this video if you really want to add something or if you think i missed something please let us all know in the comment section below of course don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys very soon peace